so I don't normally don't talk in these videos, but this may be one of the first videos I've shot where I feel like I might uh, I've totally ruined the piece that I'm working on. You might have noticed in some of the shots that there is a hole in the stock right there. At first I thought that was a check, but that is actually the hole for the bolt um, right here. I carved right into it. Now here's the deal. What I've come to find out is when I drilled this, I got off. And it's, it, it's hard to explain, but you can see how angled that bit is. And then you can see it in that hole. So that is the hole I got off on. I corrected it. So it's actually not even the hole that the bolt goes through. It's another hole that was going in the wrong direction. And then I came back and corrected it. Um, so that's how. That's the reason I carved through it. Is because the hole is not supposed to be there. This is too nice of a piece of wood. Uh, and it's for myself. I can't. I mean I'm not going to start over. I'm not going to throw this away. I'm just going to chalk it up as a lesson learned. Um, a great way to show you guys what not to do. Uh, if I was building this for a client and they were paying for it. I would have to redo this. That would not be acceptable. Even repairing it. There's really no way to repair it. Um, and make it acceptable in my opinion. But thankfully I don't have to worry about that. I'm going to try to fill it. Uh, epoxy. Something of that nature. And then um, I think I can work the epoxy down in there. And then just re-drill the hole out. With this bit going through here. And it, basically it'll just be a black spot. And it might hide well in the walnut. Um, and that's it. We'll just fix it and move on. You guys don't be too hard on me. Okay, mistakes happen.
All right, so that came out really, really nice. This walnut has some beautiful figure to it. Uh, this is a piece of walnut that I actually got in San Antonio a while back, and it really is a beautiful chunk of walnut. This was a super fun project, way more challenging than I expected. I ran into a few problems, as we mentioned earlier. I do have that epoxy part where we filled uh, the hole that I got into, and like I said, if I was building this for a client, someone was paying for me, I'd have to redo it, but since it's for myself, I'll just always look at that and remember um, that I screwed up. But for the first one, I'm happy with it. I, I really, really enjoyed it a lot, surprisingly. I I'd love to do some more of these. I think I'm going to get the tools to and start practicing checkering and maybe put a little texture on this forend so it has a little grip to it. Um, you know, this, this gun, this is nothing special. This is a Springfield Model 67. This is not a super nice shotgun, but it was my papa's shotgun, and he is no longer with this, so uh, it's cool to um, add a little special touch to it and make this a little bit more um, special to me personally, and uh, I will definitely hold on to this and keep this for a long time and always um, appreciate uh, what it is and the work that went into it. I think for now I'm going to hang it up above the window and um, just kind of admire it. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I'll see you next time.